Hi everyone, I want to take some time to show you a really cool trick that I've learned. It uses Chrome's About Blank page. Now, I learned this trick from Michael Ortali, who's a YouTube web developer, and he's Zaythorn on Twitter. So, essentially, we go to About Blank. We literally just create a new tab and go to About colon blank and hit Enter. Now, if we right-click on here, in this big, this big blank expanse, we go to Inspect Element, and we'll see that there's really nothing here. It's just an HTML head and body tag, nothing inside of it. But this is pretty cool because Chrome Developer Tools let us actually edit this stuff on the fly. So we'll cl right click on the body tag, hit Edit as HTML, and then we can just add whatever we want. So let's add in an H1 tag. Oops. There's HTML. And H1. Hello. And then we click outside of it, and there it is. So whatever we add into the, into the DOM dynamically with Chrome DevTools shows up live. And we can even add, uh, add things that take requests. So if we wanted to add an image tag, we could just go to Google's homepage, go to google.com, and right click on the image, and go back here, and then right click on the body again, add as HTML, and then right under where we added the H1 tag, we can add in an image, click outside to save it, and there's the Google logo. So we can take this a step further even. If we want to add a certain style to this, to, to this H1, we can just right click it, and then if we want to add something like uh, a, a new font family for the text, we can just do font family, then mono space, good. We can see that the style took effect immediately. Now, what if we want to add a hover pseudo class? We could just go over to the styles again, hit plus, and then do h1 colon hover, and then we can give it a color of red. So when we hover over hello here, it turns red. Perfect. So you can add things on the fly. Uh, what the interesting caveat here is, is that you can't actually add script tags. You can, but the, but the script requests won't go through. That's not the same for CSS tags, actually. So what we can do to prove this is we can go to my GitHub, which I know has some CSS requests in it and some JavaScript requests. So go to my GitHub, take a look at the inspector, and we can see that there's a few style. Ooh, that looks like it was cached. Let's try that again. So there's some, uh, those are the CSS tags and also the script tags. Now, sometimes when you want to inspect the DOM of, the DOM of something, uh, JavaScript manipulates it before you can actually work with it. So you can't see the actual DOM, and all you can do is a view source. And if you look at a page like google.com, and we go to the source, we can see that it's not really helpful here. If we want to visualize the DOM, uh, and all we have is um, a spaceless, expanse of text, this isn't very helpful. So what we can do is we can take a page like this. I'm going to take the GitHub source because there's actually no inline JavaScript here. And just take all this and copy it. I'll go back to about blank where I've got all this stuff going on here. And then I can just right click on the HTML root element, edit as HTML, take all, of the, take all of this, delete it, and then paste in my GitHub source. So it's all this stuff and then click outside to save it. Now, we'll see something that looks like the GitHub page. Uh, it looks a little bit broken, but the nice thing is, is that we can actually inspect things and have it nicely spaced out for us. So I can right-click here, Inspect Element, and I can see everything is tabbed out properly, so it's actually pretty readable. There's a few little uh, visual aberrations, but it's much better than trying to read uh, the, the actual view source itself, because it's all spaced out and very, very hard to follow, especially on certain pages. So that's view source. Uh, definitely use it. It's great for prototyping things and kind of getting something quick up and running. And you can remember, you can always use the JavaScript console to uh, have it do whatever you want with JavaScript. Hello. And that's about blank. Thanks.